growing up as kids. Many current NBA players recall the days of their youth where they visualized themselves getting drafted to the league. For some, it was a dream come true, and for others, it was a lost fantasy that vanished never to return. But in both of these instances, there was a common goal. The objective within everyone's eyes was to be the one to finally make it. NBA player Kawhi Leonard is the one who made it. Although he is now a superstar, many fans are not aware of the challenges he has faced to get to where he is today. To truly understand Kawhi Leonard, we must first understand where he came from. In today's video, we take a trip into the past to explore the rough journey that led to Kawhi Leonard becoming an NBA superstar. Welcome to NBA Insider. Hardworking, determined, humble, a man who is seen as one of the best in the NBA. Just who is Kawhi Leonard? Born in Riverside, California on January 29, 1991, to divorced parents Mark Leonard and Kim Robertson, Kawhi Anthony Leonard grew up living with his mom. As the youngest child in a family that included the likes of four older sisters, all of whom he was extremely close with, he was brought up in a dangerous environment. At the time of his birth, with a total of 2,589 murders in 1991, including 517 homicides in July and August alone, the city of Los Angeles as a whole was ranked one of the most crime-ridden cities in the United States. Due to this negative exposure from a young age, Kawhi became visible to the damaging influences and harsh realities associated with the streets, including drugs, gangs, and prostitution. Luckily for him, he had sports to help steer him away. Despite this, what many people might not believe was that it was actually the sport of football that first helped keep him busy during his adolescent years. Kawhi first indulged in the game playing as a wide receiver. However, due to his hate for knee pads and attending practices, his love for the sport would slowly fade. It wasn't until his sophomore year in high school that he finally decided to quit playing football for good. However, Leonard's father was not too fond of his decision. You see, Mark Leonard was not just his dad, but also his best friend and role model. He helped develop Kawhi's game both in football and basketball. Together, the two would lift weights, play catch, do sprints, and attend nearly all of his games. In fact, since the time the two spent together was limited due to his parents' divorce, the duo would spend most of Leonard's childhood at his father's popular car wash located in Compton. It was here where Leonard would spend countless summer days learning the importance of an honest day's work. Following a long day of washing and detailing dozens of cars, they would go out and play some more football. So when Kawhi's father, a big football fan himself, found out his son was leaving the sport he thought he loved to pursue basketball, it really hurt. Regardless, after learning that Kawhi's heart was more on the court than the field, Mark supported his decision. After all, Kawhi's love for the game was there from the start. As a child, Leonard dreamed of becoming one of the greats in basketball history after watching Michael Jordan's 1988 documentary, Come Fly With Me. I remember when I was five years old, dunking in trash cans on my knees, waiting for that day I would be able to really do it. And then one day, it happened. I was in the ninth grade, it was a JV game, and I was only five foot eight. Now in practice, I've never been able to get up that high, but the adrenaline was pumping, and I just took off. It all happened so fast, I wasn't quite sure what I'd done. But you know, I just really loved that feeling. Hi, my name is Michael Jordan. I want you to take a trip with me and discover the secrets that I've known for many years. That man was truly destined to fly. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for the circumstance that he had missed tryouts for the Canyon Spring High's freshman basketball team in Moreno Valley, chances are he would have begun playing a year earlier in the ninth grade. You see, Leonard's mom, Kim Robertson, had to work out of town during his basketball tryouts, leaving Kawhi without a ride. Due to this, he would go on to miss the session, which resulted in him losing a spot on the team. Although Kawhi attempted to email his coach informing him about the situation, the coaching staff still refused to accept him. So with no remaining option, and just in his freshman year, he decided to play football instead. The following year, he would once again try out and successfully make it as a 6'6", 190-pound sophomore playing for the Canyon Spring Cougars. Eventually, Leonard found an AAU coach and mentor named Marvin Lee, a man who not only accepted Kawhi as a person, but who saw a lot of potential in him as a young star. 
With a newfound love for the game, Kawhi decided to transfer to Riverside's Martin Luther King High School to train alongside his new coach. It was here where as a senior, he and fellow NBA player Tony Snell would help lead the King High Wolves to a 30-3 record. Then, in 2009, while using his hand size as a pivotal role in his success, Kawhi quickly developed into an outstanding player, averaging 22.6 points, 13.1 rebounds, 3.9 assists, and 3 blocks per game. He would also go on to be listed as the number 8 small forward and the number 48 player in the nation while being named as Mr. Basketball for California. Despite his wonderful achievements on the court, it was also around this time that the 16-year-old would come across one of the darkest periods in his life. You see, on Friday, January 18, 2008, just 24 hours before an upcoming game, his father, 43-year-old Mark Leonard, was shot to death. On uh January 18th, 2008, Mark Leonard was working at his car wash uh, that day. And in the afternoon, uh, some people came over. He got into a dispute with these people. We were on our way from a game. He answered the phone. He hang it up. He said, Mom, they said my dad is dead. I was like, what? He said, my dad is dead. And. I said, what do you mean, what happened? One person walked up to him and fired several rounds at him. He was struck uh, at least 10 times. Is he really gone or uh, like, is, he, is there a chance he could still be alive or is this the wrong person? Just, I just had talked to him that day, so um, it was pretty hard for me. On this tragic day, Mark was closing up his car wash when several men approached him and an argument took place. During the quarrel, one of the suspects pointed a gun and shot more than 30 shots with 10 hitting the elder Leonard. Mark Leonard was taken to a hospital where he was unfortunately pronounced dead. Like many killings in the notorious Southern California city, the murder of Kawhi's father seemed senseless. To this day, there has been no arrest and no motive for the shooting. Regardless, what was supposed to be a routine drive home from practice turned out to be an unforgettably tragic moment. After he had received the devastating news from his sister, Leonard was completely shattered considering he had spoken to his father just hours before. The next night, the six foot seven junior managed to score 17 points for the Kings in a 68-60 loss before letting out all his emotions, crying into his mother's shoulder. He didn't want to believe it. Not only had he lost his biggest fan and role model, but he lost his best friend whom he talked on the phone with every single night. The car wash, once filled with everlasting happiness and fond childhood memories, was now filled with emotional scars. His father, mentor, and best friend, was gone. With his father's death in mind, Kawhi Leonard knew he had to push forward. In the midst of the tragedy, Leonard turned to basketball as his distraction and mission. He had every reason to put all his energy and focus towards the main goal that both him and Mark strived for, to make it to the NBA. With a new motivation to make his father proud, Leonard put in extra hours at the gym. At first, he would leave his house at 5 a.m. every morning to work out before his college classes. Following this, he would spend his after-school hours hustling back and forth among three different gyms. Then he would run drills on any open court, including local LA fitnesses, where he lifted weights and trained for as long as the light stayed on. Since he was already aware of his natural abilities as a ferocious rebounder and defender, he decided to instead improve upon his offensive game, which included refining his shooting touch. Entering his senior year, after months of ongoing training, Kawhi's hard work would finally pay off as he clawed his way into becoming a four-star recruit. Eventually, he began receiving offers from schools such as UCLA, USC, and Michigan. However, after graduating in 2009, Leonard decided to accept the scholarship from San Diego State, thinking he would have a better opportunity to play. It was here where he led the Aztecs in scoring and rebounding, earning a two-time first-team selection and a reputation as a defender with a high basketball IQ and relentless hustle. In his freshman season, Leonard averaged 12.7 points and 9.9 .9 rebounds, followed by 15.5 points and 10.6 rebounds as a sophomore, all while helping drive San Diego State to the Sweet 16. By this time, NBA general managers were buzzing over the prospect with the freakish wingspan, 
high leaping ability, and a uniquely quiet demeanor. So when he began hearing reports that he was a first round lock, Leonard, barely 20 years old, declared himself eligible for the 2011 NBA Draft. With the 15th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Indiana Pacers select Kawhi Leonard from San Diego State University. In the first round, with the 15th overall pick, the Indiana Pacers selected the forward. However, just five minutes later after shaking hands with NBA Commissioner David Stern in a Pacers hat, Leonard would be traded to the San Antonio Spurs, along with the rights to European players Arizim Lorbeck and Davis Bertans, in exchange for George Hill. Then, on December 10th, 2011, following the conclusion of the NBA lockout, Kawhi Leonard would go on to sign a multi-year deal with the franchise. In his first season with the San Antonio Spurs, Leonard swiftly emerged into one of the most promising and dominant two-way players in the league. Aside from that, playing alongside veterans such as Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and Manu Ginobili proved to be a seamless fit for Leonard. That same season, he placed fourth in Rookie of the Year voting and would go on to be named to the 2012 NBA All-Rookie First Team. It was clear from the start that this was an overall good investment for Greg Popovich and the Spurs. After all, Kawhi was always a hustle and defense player in college. It made sense, especially when considering the fact that although Leonard stood at 6'7", his wingspan was listed at 7'3". Aside from this, his hand measured in at 11.25 inches across from thumb to pinky and 9.75 inches long, a staggering 52% wider than the average man's hand. With a wingspan so long and with hands so huge that he could cover the ball with one hand, Leonard translated the same game he had in college to the NBA floor. He put his natural gifts to good use on the floor, grabbing rebounds, defending the other team's best player, and always playing to win. Entering the league, he had demonstrated his maturity on the court as he made key contributions to the Spurs, helping them reach the NBA Finals in just his second season, despite the Spurs suffering a defeat to the Miami Heat in seven games. On June 15, 2014, in a Finals rematch with the Heat just a year later, the Spurs would go on to defeat Miami in five games, completing a dominant comeback from a 2013 heartbreak. Behind his 17.8 points on 61% shooting and 6.4 rebounds per game, Leonard would go on to lead the Spurs to their fifth NBA championship. With stellar defense on Miami's LeBron James, it became clear to everyone that it was here where Leonard shifted his talents from NBA star to superstar. At just 22 years old, the former San Diego State standout became the third youngest player to ever win the NBA Finals MVP award and the youngest player to win the Finals MVP trophy since Magic Johnson. Johnson in 1980. In the end, however, what really made Leonard's achievement truly special was the fact that he received it on Father's Day. And while Kawhi has since held a reputation in the NBA as an emotionless assassin, on this day, the forward had plenty feelings to go around. It's no wonder that after his exceptional performance, the six foot seven forward continuously labeled the moment as surreal. On a day all sons would find it hard not to think of their dads. In honor of his father, Kawhi Leonard now has a tattoo on his right arm, a tombstone with an RIP dad inscription with angel wings sprouting from each side, a suitable way to keep his father's memory indeed. Overall, as silent and discreet as he is off the NBA floor, Kawhi Leonard is thought of as one of the most mysterious and unemotional players in the whole league. But make no mistake, his play on the court is anything but. It's true Kawhi Leonard has a quiet and humble demeanor, keeps a low-key profile, and doesn't seem interested in the fame or money that comes along with being a professional basketball player. All he wants to do is get better and work harder, even if he has the spotlight. After all, he is the kid who locked himself in his room on his birthdays. He is the teenager who brought two lamps from home for his early morning workouts because the school wouldn't turn on the lights. He is the NBA superstar who still drives a 1997 Chevy Tahoe, the same car he had since high school. He is the prospect who spent the night of the 2012 NBA draft at the Spurs practice facility. But most importantly, he is Kawhi Leonard.
In the end, these are just some of the behind the scenes of the NBA that many people don't know about. When you put aside the multi-million dollar contracts, exciting careers, and lavish lifestyles that many NBA stars enjoy, there's a lot to learn about some of our favorite players. On a more personal level, the NBA is more than just basketball. It's a place where friendships are made, accomplishments are appreciated, and sadly, deaths are mourned. Luckily for us, it is also thanks to amazing people such as Mark Leonard that we get to appreciate outstanding individuals such as Kawhi Leonard. Years after his dad's murder, Kawhi still believes that his father is happy on his decision to pursue a career in basketball. With the finals MVP trophy and a bright NBA future ahead, there's no doubt he would be.